Coach Lita. Welcome to this week's edition of the CWC Howler. The schedule for this edition is teacher interviews, talking to students, bulletins, election day, poem contest, and world series. Please enjoy this week's podcast. Hi, this is Cormac, and I'm doing some weekly announcements. Congratulations to Miss Saracino's advisory. They had the most participation in Spirit Week. Congratulations to everyone who won a Halloween prize this yesterday. Della and Leslie won the cutest. Simon and Gage won scariest. Santiago and Sasha won best overall. And Malcolm and Iris won most creative. Hi, this is Luca, and I have an extra reminder. Uh, the reminder is we have Veterans Day off of school, number 11 on November 11th, and Thanksgiving break of the week of November 20th through 26th. Hi, this is Ty. And Jason. From the CWC Howler, and we're going to tell you about the Wolves' Ways winners. This month's Wolf Way winners are Mar- Marla, for the driven, Angelina for responsible, Luca Bigler for resilient, Mila for respect, Sophia for value, Helen for support, and Griffin G for wolves change the world. Tell me, how does it feel to be one of the Wolfways winners? Uh, it, I feel proud of myself for accomplishing the resilient award um, and I just hope that my friends can also win awards for uh, their accomplishments and what they've done at the school as well. Okay, I take this as a, I take this as an honor to be one of the Wolf winners, and if, if other kids can look up to me for that as uh, winning an award for sport, sportsmanship basically, and kids can actually look up to me, and I can actually set goals for other kids, and I can be a role model to other kids. So I'm very proud, and I'm very honored to have this award. Do you think Do you think that people in CWC should follow the Wolf Ways all the all the time? Uh, I say yes, they should because there have been a lot of conflicts at the school, and if we want to make a safe, happy school, then we should follow the Wolf Ways at all times. Um, most like what uh, Luca said, that it's um you should because it's following the the wolf ways and the way that people change and the way that people follow rules. It really tells a lot about a person because if you don't follow rules, it shows a lot about you. What can the school do to make the world a better place? Uh, just like the last question, I say that the, the school can follow the wolf ways. Um, the school can work, I'm not saying no pressure, but they can work harder on their projects, like accomplish more things, uh, reach their limits, go out of your comfort zone. What can make the school a better place is when kids can actually own up to their mistakes. And instead of fighting, you can talk it out or try a different solution instead of fighting, because fighting would only get you in trouble, not only get you in trouble, but show a lot about you, like I said before. And there's so many other ways that you can express your feelings with somebody else besides fighting. Okay, thank you for listening today. This is Jorge Vo with um, Miss Saracino. Saracino. She is the science teacher for seventh grade and one sixth grade class, I believe. Oh, two sixth grade classes. <laughs> so, um, how is that like? It is wonderful. I have my sixth graders in the morning, first and second period, and I have seventh graders, third, fourth, and sixth period. Yes, I. I understand that um, you also share it with um, the Spanish class. Yes, Mr. Garcia uses my classroom fifth period right after lunch. Yeah, um, so how is that like? 
It's okay. I wish I had my room during my conference period so I can set up my labs, but Mr. Garcia is very nice to work with, so I don't mind sharing. Yes, he is a delight. So, um, I honestly think uh, there are two um, science teachers. Have you had any competition? No, Mr. Schaefer and I work so nicely together. Oh. He taught sixth grade last year, so he gives me all of the sixth grade material when he's finished with it. And oh. he's not taught seventh grade, but I have taught seventh and eighth grade sciences. So I'm not minding taking the material myself for my seventh grade class. And it's fun because I can share with him some things I've done in the previous years because I've been teaching science longer. And he shares with me the things he did last year to make my sixth grade classes go more smoothly. So there's no competition, just collaboration. That's, that's pretty cool. So um, your advisory is seventh grade, right? Mm-hmm. So ha have you had a sixth grade advisory? No. Last year I had 8th grade and I had them the year before when they were 7th graders, but that was at a different school. And since I'm scheduled to teach 7th grade science, I think I'll also have 7th grade advisory next year. Hmm. Yeah. Um, I was thinking, so how long have you been teaching? I have been teaching 16 years. That is a lot of years. I know. And it's my second career. So, um, is, is this also your favorite career, or did you come from something else that you had that, like, was a bit more enjoyable? I love this job. I love this choice in career, because before I did this, I ran a business, oh. and it was not as much fun because I didn't get to work with kids. Um, so what did you do in your previous business? In my previous business, I uh, ran the California region of Starbucks coffee. Mm. So it was a big job. I had a lot of stores and I had a lot of employees and I worked many, many hours. And my I dad loves your shop. <laughs> I didn't get to see my family for holidays because we were open on the holidays. Uh. So I also love teaching because we have all the holidays off where we get to celebrate them like yesterday, Halloween. We celebrated all day. That was pretty cool. Yes, a lot of fun. I like to have the fun. Yes. It, it's, it has been so much fun talking with you, but this is all the time we have. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jorge. It's a pleasure to talk to you. Welcome back to ESCWC, and today, today, my name is Dante, and I'm going to be talking about the World Series. The World Series went on with the Cubs and the Indians. It was Game 7, and there was a rain delay. Then it went back on. The, the final score was 8-6, to six, Cubs winning. That's really crazy, because the Cubs haven't won in 108 years. That's a long time. That's a century in eight years. And then the Cubs, the Indian Stadium was just left by the Indians and all the Cubs fans with them. Go Cubs, go. Go Cubs, go. Hey Chicago, what do you say? The Cubs gonna win today. Go Cubs, go. Go Cubs, go. Hey Chicago, what do you say? Cubs, go. Welcome back to ESCWC, and today my name is Dante, and today I'm going to be talking about the boys' basketball trial. It is November 15, 2016. Sign up and join the school team. Ten boys will be chosen for the team for the 5.30. Bye!
happy birthday to Piper, Kristen, Julia, Christina, Cassie, Lee, Christina, and Lucius. Happy birthday, guys. Hi, this is Luke Bigler from the CWC Howler with an important announcement. The po this podcast is initiating a weekly contest. This contest is a poem competition. It allows students to be creative and submit their own original poem to the CWC Howler. The two finalists will be invited to read their poems and talk about the background of it. The winner will be selected the next day. If the writer is not there, then the poem will be read by us. Please use original content only. An email will be sent to you asking if you would like to submit a poem. Good luck. Hi, it's us again. Thanks for listening. Make sure to listen to next week's podcast. Bye. Bye.